Hey guys, I'm Mike and this is my Ford Transit Connect camper. Lounge mode. So this is bed mode. I built it out about three years ago, right after I graduated from architecture school. The idea was to do a build out that had four configurations basically, storing and hauling stuff, sitting and kind of hanging out or working, lounging let's call it, and for sleeping. So exterior wise, I have a 100 watt Renji panel, a Rhino Rack Pioneer tray. It's basically a, a solid platform that goes on top of two crossbars. I don't know why you'd ever want that. So this is hauling slash storing mode, let's call it. This is usually how the van looks. You'll see in a second, there's a seat here, there's a table here, but my goal was to have everything kind of fold away and have as much central open space as possible. You're so stealth in here. Yeah, oh, it's so stealth. I also wanted to put in as much storage space as possible. So there's this overhead shelf. I have my window curtains up here and I just kind of found I really like having storage space that is open or really easy to stuff things into because if I have to open a door, like, re you know, do something to get to the storage space, I tend to not use it as much. Under this bench, I have a pretty good amount of storage and it also houses my electrical system. Just a Goal Zero Yeti 400 lithium. It has an inverter built into it, it has a solar charge controller build, built into it. Systems wise, it's about as simple as you can as you can go. Between 100 hours and 20,000 hours, somewhere between those two numbers. Those are good, those are good numbers. <laughs> you can like stand and crouch and you know put your pants on pretty easily, I guess. This bench was added for storage and to house the electrical, but it was placed here so that I could basically use the galley. All right, so as you can see, you can use the galley from the outside if you wanted to. You could turn the faucet around and rinse your feet, I guess, if you wanted to after surfing or something like that. Put your Coleman here and basically stand outside and use the stove from the outside. It also makes it really easy to access all the water. I have a four gallon fresh water four gallon gray water. You can access your stove and your pots and pans from the outside. Yeah, so this is the galley. It has just basically the smallest sink bowl I could find on Amazon. And then it has a hand pump sink. Should I, I just pumped it and didn't come out with water. Should I kind of redo that? This will be B roll, maybe C roll. Got a couple drawers for storage. Um, pots and pans go down here. And then I made this little slot for my Coleman two burner, which conveniently, tightly fits. I can just barely get it on here and cook from the inside if I wanted to. With this Coleman, uh, it rattles a lot. So I was able to use some leftover cushion, seat cushion foam. Um, and when it goes in there, it like cinches in there really tight and I don't even need a door because it doesn't come out, which is really nice. This is sitting mode slash work mode. This is a table. And all of these flaps are just held in place with these little quick release pins. I can work in here if I wanted to, um, if I'm doing computer work or stuff like that. I just made the basically the backrest of the seat into, I guess, what you could call the closet. There's enough room there for some shirts and, you know, a couple changes of clothes. Again, this is like a weekender, I would say. So next up is lounge mode, mode number three. The van is just wide enough to be able to kick up your feet and have a chaise longue, as they say. And then you could you could still put your table down and, you know, watch Netflix or Hulu or some streaming service. <laughs> the last mode I'm about to show you is sleeping. This was by far the most complicated part of the build. The reason being is there's so many moving parts. And when I was building the cabinet, I had to make sure everything was square and parallel, obviously, and then that I had big enough gaps everywhere so that when you know the panel folds down from this side and this panel folds down, they're not overlapping, but also they're not too far apart. So what I've done is I've doubled up all of my panels that I'm sitting on, and I will show you right now how they basically flip forward and, and they, they rest on that bench up there.
the cushions are modular as they say so as you saw they they fit nicely for the lounge setup but they also when they're all laid out next to each other fit perfectly for the width and length of this bed <sighs> so this is bed mode it's about six foot one long and 36 inches wide can you sleep two people yeah you can snugly if i don't want to make the bed you can still do everything with the bed out you can you can hang like this you can come over here and use the kitchen it almost like feels like this is now the floor and you're just doing everything from the floor and again too like you could lay a surfboard out here so there's definitely been times where i've just left it like this and it hasn't been a problem on the theme of maximizing storage i put this tiny little secret cubby hole here don't tell anyone about it <laughs> does it serve a purpose nope almost never have have i used it but it's there it's there if you want to use it in terms of materials this is three quarter inch bamboo plywood um, and i just really like it because of the end grain it looks different than normal plywood end grain and I don't know, I just think it's really beautiful. So that's the main material for all the cabinets. I decided to material-wise split up the back zone from the front zone. I kind of figured since the space is so small, I almost think it makes more sense to create multiple zones within the small space to make it feel like there's more than one tiny space. So back here you have gray upholstered walls that wrap up to the ceiling. And then in the front, I think it's Doug fir veneer plywood. Well, that's the van. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>